Hi there everyone, this is Mailman Zero playing Earthbound. Last time we found ourselves stuck in a stupid desert. And we learned about drugs. See, we're on our way to a new city, but there's a traffic jam. So, we talk to all the people and try to figure out what's going on. We all need to go. So notice that my guys here when I'm going around, they've got these sweat things coming off their faces. What that means is that the desert is hot. I know, surprising, huh? What that also means though is that we can get sunstroke and a zip gun. Oh, I don't have enough by like just barely not enough. Okay, uh, let me Let's also check our equipment here. What do we got? Coin of Slumber, Mr. Saturn Coin, Coin of Slumber. Uh, yeah, that, that should be fine. I could buy another Coin of Slumber, but I don't really want to. Um, I also want to check and see... I want Paula to have the Franklin badge, but I think I got rid of it. But I kind of need it back, so... Um, so yeah, I've got a little bit more to do in the drugstore as far as selling items and getting prepared. So, whoops, I didn't want to buy. Uh, okay, what I wanted to do is to sell a hard hat and I'm going to call Escargo Express and I'm gonna have them deliver um, the Franklin badge. So I gave them all this stuff, and now I realize I need the Franklin badge. So uh, we'll pay our money and get our Franklin badge. Well, I'll, I'll walk around here where I, I can't get sunstroke, because you know it's it's always cooler on the blacktop. You know, safer to walk out here. Makes sense, right? Eighteen dollars. Yeah, I can pay that. Okay, who got it? I'm guessing Paula did. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay. So, let's... What? This guy attacks us? How come the last one didn't want to attack us? I don't understand. I guess he just had a death wish. So let's explore around here and see what we can find. Well, first we'll find a dead end. That's always good. Anything else interesting out here in the desert? There's drugs. More drugs. Um, oh, see that flash of red? I don't know even if you could see it. But uh, you can see that two of us now have sunstroke. So we'll, uh, we'll just use some healing and that should take care of it. There will be lots of this going on probably. Jeff will probably get sunstroke here any minute. Oh, that's nothing. Oh, we got a butterfly that we missed. You should be careful when trying to get a butterfly. Because sometimes the butterflies flutter by. Okay, so we discovered that there's nothing in that direction. We've also discovered that we're strong enough that we don't have to fight these moles. And, um, okay, I'll take it. And we can talk to this monkey. Monkey Paradise. Talarama. Who is Talarama? Well, let's find out what's in the monkey land. Kya 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 ya kya kya kya. Talarama is now fasting and practicing silent meditation. He's also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly, too. Please don't bother him. I'm gonna bother him anyway. All he said was dots. I hate when people tell me dots.
Someone's gotta have sunstroke by now, no? Jeff, you are strong. Especially for wearing a suit. I mean, I wouldn't wear a suit in the desert, except for when I do. Uh, yeah, okay. Finally, Jeff gets some sunstroke. Anything useful in this box? Double burger. I'm guessing no. Just some food. Those guys look scary. Oh good, there are two of them. A Skelpion and a Crested Buka. Excellent, excellent. Well, I would like to not get poisoned, so I will attack the Skelpion first. Um, I guess we'll just do regular attacks and see what happens. Well, that's perfect. Okay, no one got poisoned. So I'm cool. Let's all just attack the Crested Buka and lose a bunch of our offense or defense or whatever we just lost. That wasn't too painful. The enemies here aren't too bad. I guess I'll take this. Um, why did you lead us to people that are dead with happy faces? We sleep in the desert, so we're often mistaken for corpses. But a corpse doesn't usually wear a bathing suit, right? Hey, stop staring at my tan lines. Go away. Oh, why does everybody have to keep getting sunstroke? Annoying kids, what a group of brats. Scat you little monsters. Um, does anybody see that little UFO over there? Because I sure do. And we get to fight another guy. Now well, let's go for the scorpion first. Oh good. Oh good. Let's everybody attack Jeff. That's a good idea. Of course. Okay, let's hope that this works. Thank you for not hitting Jeff. Yay, a pizza that I can't carry. Yes, I will throw something away. How about the stupid croissant? Yay, I got a pizza. Anything else down here? Let's, let's do some uh, life ups on everyone. Oh, it's only the one. I knew that. I'm cool. Come back here! Butterfly! Where are you going? All of that, and now I'm probably gonna get sunstroke in like two seconds. Oh, I've already been there. So yeah, just like the normal desert, it's kind of boring. Not much going on. That kind of looked like a weird patch of grass or something, so I wanted to check it out. But there was nothing there. How about this? No problems. Good for you, no problems. Someone's got sunstroke. A big bottle rocket. Yeah, we'll have to get rid of something for that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Because now Jeff doesn't have it. Oh, silliness. I don't know. Have a protein drink. No, well, well, yeah, okay. Yay, protein drink. Give it to Paula. Wow! We get to run like crazy now. What's this? Desert. This hole's great. Good hole, good hole, good hole. First someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. 
Man, I'm starving. Uh, yes. I will give you... Where's my pizza? You look like you want pizza. Have a pizza. Alright. Well, what have we in here? Oh, good. And a telephone. Why not save? Alright. So we found a miner who's not here anymore. Um, let's see if there's anything else in the desert, though, before we do that. There's this nice oasis that doesn't seem to be having any problems. Ooh, ooh, I gotta, I wanna get that guy. Come on, caterpillar guy, don't go away. Ah, oh, man, I hope it's still there. Well, that's not a regular dog, it's a dog smelling... Never mind. Um, what can I do with this guy? Can I do anything? Let's, uh, let's paralyze the buffalo, why not, right? And then everyone else can attack the wolf. Sorry you don't get to see what the buffalo does, because I paralyzed him. But I'm not feeling bad about it, because uh, the buffalo is really scary. Now we all just try to attack the buffalo while it can't move. I know, it's not fair. Paula, you smashed the buffalo! Green caterpillar thing, where are you? Why are you so hard to fight? Yes! Look at that! 10,000 experience points! And I didn't have to fight him! That's how easy it was! Everyone leveled up! Everyone leveled up from that! Amazing! Oh, poor pile of bones, lonely in the desert! What was that? I saw something. What's a sign doing out in the desert? I lost a pair of contact lenses here in the dusty dunes desert. They were a memento from my grandma and very important to me. If you find them, bring them to me and I'll give you a reward. I'm Penatella Giovanni. Find me at the Foreside Bakery, second floor. Uh, what's our status looking like? Well, okay, let's let's heal up a little bit, or life up a little bit. May as well, right? I mean, I just talked to a butterfly. I don't know why I just did that for people who don't need it, but there you go. That's a lot of water for a desert. Another double burger. Hooray! Following the coastline. Checking out. Now I got sunstroke again. Uh, we'll heal you right up. Well, I guess... Oh, Jeff does have some space. Let's move this bottle rocket. Uh, give... Jeff... Oops. Now let's see what's in here. Yay! A Psy Caramel. It's a caramel that has psychic powers. Or it just gives you psychic power. And what's in here? A sudden guts pill. Not really worth it. But, here's some enemies that we can fight for no reason. Look at me! I'm going to... Paralyze... 
Wait, what just happened? Oh, it's because I did the crazy paralysis. I just need the regular one. And now we can all bash the Crested Buka. And again, we don't get to see what the buffalo does. But if we're fortunate, we also won't really get to see what the Crested Buka does, because it will be dead right now. A smash attack. Ness, this time you smash the buffalo. I'm not really sure why I feel this compulsion to check out absolutely everything that's going on here. Um, what, what's this? I guess that's where I wanted to go this whole time. Let's go back this way and see what's going on, because uh, I don't see what's causing a traffic jam. And I want to see what's causing traffic jams. Did I forget to buy the zip gun after all that time? I think I did. Well, Jeff won't need it, because he'll get another gun soon, soon enough. What is going on here? What? Where did all the traffic go? I guess the traffic's gone. Well, I guess now that I'm here I can buy the zip gun. Okay, we buy some food, I guess. Oh, we should sell something for chefs. Like, um, a double burger. Now I can buy the zip gun. Well, Jeff, because he's the only one that can equip it. Now we can sell whatever Jeff had. What did you have before? Magnum air gun. What? Okay. I guess we'll fight you because uh, you're gonna die. Wait, so does this mean that I can take the bus now? Do not stand in the street. Read the schedule from the sidewalk. I'm not in the street! I'm on the sidewalk! Okay, I guess I need to be on this side. Um, I have sunstroke. Need to cure that before I get on the bus. Yeah, I can pay that. Now we get to take the bus to Foreside, because we walked around... I don't understand, but yeah. We now know that we can walk around, and while we're walking, all of the cars will go away. And we could have just waited. But we couldn't have, because they wouldn't have gone away if we hadn't walked around. Some kind of a quantum mechanics issue going on there. Nice suspension bridge. And here we are in Foresight. Let's find a place to save. Or we can talk to this guy. Geldegard Montoli. Huh. Mo wait, Monotoli or Mon... Monotoli, not Montoli. Hotel, hotel. Hotels have phones. Well, we made it through the desert. Uh, there are a couple things in the desert that we didn't do, but that's okay. They're not really that important. Um, and uh, I guess that's it for this time. Next time will be Foreside. So join me then. Thanks for watching. Bye.